what's going on guys today i'm here at my house i guess i can't get fired here but i if if if, if i if i had hired me i'd probably fire me but anyway this is uh i think it's some kind of ligustrum but i've got a lot of uh cold weather damage on it i've got a lot of bushes like this around town not the same type but different kinds took this uh this winter really hard um i'm gonna try a little cocktail on them today and see what that does i'm gonna use some of the uh rgs if you're not familiar with that uh check out some some sites like uh longcology and uh uh what's the, the grass factor and uh they got some great information on it but what it is is a uh humic acid fulvic acid sea kelp mixture should do right here that's the rgs i'm gonna use the rgs and a little i can't well uh, i'm a bad cameraman I tell you. and this is a uh, liquid foliar fertilizer with iron i'm gonna just put uh a couple of uh, we'll put a gallon in my pump hand sprayer and use a three ounces of rgs to the gallon and a couple of ounces of the fertilizer I'm going to spray on the bushes and on the ground around the bushes. And uh, I'm going to come back later with a little uh, Epsom salt around the bottom of the bushes. I'm going to try this today on a few damaged uh, shrubs I've got around town. But all right, I'm going to mix it up and spray it and hope it works. All right, I sprayed my bushes with the RGS and the fertilizer. If it brings them back, it'll be a miracle because they're pretty far gone. One of them is okay. It's probably going to bounce back, but the other one I'm thinking is toast. But now I'm going to put the RGS on my lawn. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the yard. It's a mixture of Bahia grass and Bermuda grass. I, I never really have a lot of time to do a whole lot to it, so I just generally fertilize it and keep the weeds out of it and go. But this year, if I get time, I think I'm going to try to take the Bahia grass out of it. But that's a whole nother story but i got this battery powered sprayer and i made this boom for it with some uh air injected t-jet nozzles but uh it does an okay job but the battery power backpack man if you don't have one of those that thing's awesome i had no idea it would work like it does it has a lot of output and the battery will last for days i mean days of just spraying all day but the beginning of the week i sprayed the yard with uh, a real popular three-way herbicide uh, speed zone i think it's got carfentrazone dicamba 2,4-D, the the usual players in a three-way herbicide i'll show you a little bit of what it's doing already i don't know if i can get the camera to do it right or not i can't see what the camera's doing but there's some clover it looks like it's dinging up and i just sprayed it a few days ago and it's been pretty cool too but i'm gonna get the uh rgs out on the lawn uh the rgs goes out at uh three ounces per thousand square feet uh my front yard here is a little bit over thirteen thousand square feet i've calibrated my backpack sprayer see my yard looks like crap this never looks bad it's got perennial ryegrass on it right now and the ryegrass did not come up in the fall but it's starting to come up now when I'm going to be ready to get rid of it pretty soon. It's just how it works, I guess. But the RGS goes out at three ounces per thousand square feet. I've calibrated my backpack sprayer to where, with that boom, I've got the coverage down to where the four gallon load in it will cover 6,500 square feet. So it's going to take me a couple of, uh, backpack sprayer loads of it there and i'll spray the yard and i could probably do it with that set up the 13,000 square feet in about 10 minutes all right well, i'm gonna get to it and i've got to get to town and do some paying jobs so i don't know if i'll video anymore today or not but uh that's a little bit about back the backpack sprayer and the rgs i'm i'm trying the rgs out for the first time uh like i say there's some some guys that have got high praises on it that know a whole lot, hell of a lot more than i do so I'm 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 banking banking high on it, but I think it'll work. All right, guys. All right, I'm 
excited about using the RGS. Like I said, you can go check out the different websites and, and learn a lot more about it. But what uh, has got me interested in it, you know, it's basically the humic acid in it is just a way to introduce uh, carbon to the soil. And, you know, carbon's very poor. It's got lots of surface area in it, so you can get lots of uh, places for soil organic matter and microbial activity to to latch on and go to work. And it's a it's also a good uh, chelator. Wow, my camera's crooked. But uh, it's going to lock up a lot, unlock a lot of these uh, micronutrients you might have bound up in the ground. But ultimately... Uh, the claims are that you can start reducing a lot of your inputs like uh, herbicides and uh, nitrogen and I'm really curious to see how it's going to work with fungicides on this uh, fescue in the summertime because the fungicides we're using are just ridiculously expensive and I just I I mean I hate to charge these people that much to do something to their yard I mean, I feel like I'm holding them hostage. You know, I got to do this azoxystrobin application on your yard, and it's going to cost you $175. You know, and, I, and by the way, I got to do it every 28 days, or your yard's going to blow up. And uh, you know, I I would just like to be able to tone that down and maybe be able to use something that's less expensive, or you know, to to to, to have just just to have good results with with something simpler but uh you know you can check out these guys uh websites and, and youtube channels and stuff and learn all about the different things that uh introducing wow carbon hello introducing uh carbon to the soil and through this humic acid product is all the advantages it's going to give you all right i did the same treatment on these bushes here behind me i'm not even sure what they are but uh, as you can see, it got kind of beat up by the cold. But I sprayed it with the uh, RGS fertilizer iron mixture I made. And I sprayed on the trunk on the leaves. And then I made a little uh, soil drench in a bucket and poured it down around the roots. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some, some improvement in that thing. I got another one on the other side here in the same shape but uh, hopefully that'll improve and I got my RGS and I actually used a liquid fertilizer too out on the lawn I, I haven't done much with liquid fertilizers but it had some iron in it and hopefully uh, we'll get some good results out of that but uh, I'll say just been out experimenting with the RGS all right guys i'm about to finish up for today but uh i sprayed this yard with the uh rgs product too uh i like i say I'm, I'm hoping for some great results from that stuff it uh it really should take things to the next level everything they say about it just makes too much sense it's, it's perfect sense so uh if you're you're curious about that i mean i'm in i'm no means a spokesman for it i'm just somebody trying it out but uh I hope it I hope it does good stuff. If you're curious about that, man, check out guys like uh GCI Turf, Pete Denny and uh Matt Martin and then uh John Perry has his uh Longcology YouTube channel and John Perry is the dude who makes the stuff. He's the president of Green County Fertilizer. Pete Denny even sells it at uh GCI Turf Academy. So uh if you're you're interested in it, man, check those guys out and learn a little more and and I, I, they, they, they sure hooked me on it by all the things they said. But uh, anyway, I got this yard sprayed. It's uh, well over an acre here, so it took a long time with my little uh, spray setup. I had to keep reloading. But uh, I'm pooped, and I'm going to head in for today and I guess try to put this together and, and get it out there. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit the like button. Give me any comments you want. I, I like answering the comments. And, you know, subscribe. But uh, I appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll check you out later.